hello guys welcome again at my youtube channel in this video we are going to learn how we can create a website in go language using bootstrap so here i have example of bootstrap website if i click on this website in html page so this page is working like this and it is implemented using bootstrap so maybe you have any website or you are going to make a website you have the such kind of website using bootstrap so i have given you example in this website we have the form we have the assets folder main is the assets folder and here in vendor we have a bootstrap directory also and in bootstrap we have bootstrap file that i'm using in this and we have a bootstrap js also that means we this is full flash a bootstrap website which using bootstrap also and using some on css also so this website we want to run using go language so what i'm doing i'm just copying this all the data and i just paste this data in a directory like this so i will use this directory as a workspace for your vs code and i will make a coding for go language so here i do not need the github so i am removing the github now no need of this change log txt so i am removing this one also no need of form right now so i am removing this also so i have a assets and this file so one more folder i am creating here the template so all the html file i will put under this template like this so this is ready assets is are there and templates are there now i have to open it in you see i am opening here in bootstrap directory here in vs code and this is my assets directory and this is my template where i have these file so here under bootstrap directory what i am to what i am doing i am just creating a main.go file so i say main.go so here i will do my golang coding so just to create a package first of all then create a function main like this create a serv server http dot handle function first of all here i'm passing the handler on root i want to run my index page so i say run index like this and uh, i want to run this server like on port number 8080 like this i save it now i just create a function you can say run index here w http dot uh, response writer and we have r also http dot request like this now i need a template so i create a template here template dot template and i create one more function in it for initializing the template property so i say the template template dot must and under this i have template dot parse glob and here i want to pass the directory template where i have all my html file like this so template is ready i have html file here for template and i am passing uh, you can say running this template dot execute template and i am passing this to the w 
and the file name would be index.html and second thing is null like this so if i run this program this page so just i go to uh, website like this and i run it go run main if i run so it asks to execute a port and i run this localhost so if i run this website like this so it is running like this means this time this website is not detecting any css or any bootstrap file so now but but website is running so i have to do some setting also like this i say http dot handle and here i pass that assets and then second is http dot strip prefix and here under this i pass assets and here i pass fs fs is a file server so i have to create a file server also http dot file server and here i have to pass the directory that will work as a file server so here i say ss directory so all the data is available in this asset directory and i will use asset directory like this in url it will remove this from this and it will use like this so how i will do this just i open the index.html and you see here i have a ss directory path so in each and every directory i have to replace with this one so i say control and f So I find uh, assets and I replace this assets with slash assets. So replace replace all like this so i remove all these double double slash so all the path it has been changed with slash like this why i'm changing this because all the because this ss directory should start from the roots the slash here so I save this because I'm using here that uh, the, the directory having a path starting from slash to this it should be use prefix this and this path should be replaced with the ss directory. So that's why I'm giving this path. So remember that we have to do like this. Now I just uh, close this once again I try to run. and i just refresh this and you see the all bootstrap and everything is running fine you see it's running perfectly like this this one this one this one this one this one so you see each and every tag everything is working perfectly all the bootstrap library and all the jquery everything is working perfectly and we are able to run a bootstrap website under the go language so remember to use all these settings so like this way we can execute any bootstrap website we can run any bootstrap website using go language so if you really learn anything from this video if this video is useful for you kindly promote my channel do subscribe my channel thank you for what watching this video Thank you.